Hey guys, welcome to the Quantopian tutorial series. My name's Jamie, and I'm going to be guiding you through a series of tutorials that will help you to learn how to write a trading algorithm on Quantopian. The tutorials will focus on the Quantopian API and Quantopian specific concepts, so coming in you'll probably want to have a basic understanding of Python. This first tutorial is the Getting Started tutorial, and it's broken up into 11 short lessons. In these lessons, we'll cover most of the basics of the Quantopian API and how to write an algorithm, and by the end we'll have a simple but functional trading algorithm. To start out, let me define what a trading algorithm is in the context of Quantopian. On Quantopian, a trading algorithm is a Python program that defines two special functions, initialize and handle data. Initialize is called once at the start of our program, and handle data is called once per minute during a simulation or live trading. Initialize is where we can create one-time startup logic for our program, and handle data is where we'll decide which orders, if any, should be placed. Right now, we're in what's called the Interactive Development Environment, or the IDE for short, and in front of me, I have an extremely basic trading algorithm that orders a long position in Apple stock. The initialize function here gets run once at the start of the program and creates a reference to the Apple stock, and then handle data gets called once per minute, and rebalances so that our portfolio is always 100% long in Apple stock. To backtest this algorithm, I can go up here and set the backtest parameters, so the start date, the end date, and the starting capital. And then I can either click Build Algorithm over here, which will keep me in the IDE, and show my plots and logs over here. Or I can run a full backtest, which will take me to another view and give me a more detailed set of results on my backtest. All right. That's it for this lesson. In the next one, we'll start looking at functions specific to the Quantopian API.